Welcome back to another episode of Two Hungry Diners with me Oni and Peter. We are back at the Queen Victoria Market here in Melbourne. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yes. So this is another night market, but yes. this one is not a winter night market. It is Hawker 88 night market. Basically, an Asian night market. Yes, so if you have been following us around on the YouTube channel, in our YouTube channel, you might notice we posted uh, the last night market video for the winter night market at the same location, Queen Victoria Market. Yes. Yes, I can't wait to taste some of the delicious street food from this hawker night market. Yeah, so we're gonna be finding more food today because the team is gonna be Asian. So yes. there are foods from Korean, Malaysia, Indonesia, um, Japan as well. Japan, yes. Thailand, uh, Thailand Sri Lanka, India yeah. as well. Starting from tonight, the 18th of September until next month, 23rd of October, they will have uh, this night market every Wednesday night. So every week, they also have uh, such a special team. For this week, it's about Mooncake Festival. <laughs> Yes, next week is going to be the durian. They call it the Malaysian durian. I don't know why Malaysian they call it the durian Malaysian festival, durian. Yeah. But I think it's going to be epic. So It's going to be epic. Because it's durian. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of you guys loves durian as yes. well. Can't wait. I, I, I can smell already some of the smoke from yeah. maybe, I don't know, satay? I don't know. Yeah, it smells so good already. Ooh, I can't wait. Let's check it out, guys. Let's check it out. <laughs> of tonight, which is the skewer hot pot from Bobo Cup. Oh, I got a mix of five skewers. Um, oh, it's very hot. It's hot. Oh, it's spicy. I think this one is my favorite. It could be the octopus ball. Nice. Basically, these uh, different type of balls uh, are dipped into the Sichuan sauce or Sichuan um, broth, and it's quite spicy. It's uh, yeah, it's spicy and um, yeah, it has a nice kick of Sichuan flavor, which I like. It's a nice mix if you like uh, Sichuan food. Like me, I like it. Yes, get this one for your entree. <laughs> okay, that was okay. My first taste was okay. So let's get some more food. <laughs> And yeah, so this one is $13. Three pieces of taco. I can't wait to dig in. Cool. Mm. It's flavorful. The beef is very flavorful. I think it's I think because of the sauce, it's sweet, it's a bit tangy. I like it. I like the flavor. Taco skin, which is the wonton skin, it's a bit on the thicker side than the normal wonton. That's why I think it can hold the shape of the taco. I like it. So 
So guys, we got ourselves the internet. This is, yeah, you hurry right, this is the internet. The Indomie, which is the instant noodle, and also the cornet, uh, no, no, the egg first, the fried egg, and also the corned beef. So this is like really popular. It's probably like $1 back in Indonesia, but here it's like $11. And that's fine. It's been a while. I need Indonesia so much. This is like the most, the most comfort food you can get in Indonesia. Wow, this is take me back straight to Indonesia. So guys, the next dish, I'm going to try this chicken satay from our neighbors, Malaysian hawker uh, stall food. They've got this amazing chicken satay. Looks really good, looks amazing, guys. This one is $10, five chicken satay, chicken sticks, with uh, some of the small rice cake. It's really small <laughs> for me. And yeah, can't wait, let's try. different than chicken satay what I normally eat in Indonesia. This one definitely on the sweeter side. It is so sweet. They marinate it with a lot of sugar, I believe. I'm not sure, maybe palm sugar or just a normal sugar. And they also marinate the, the meat with the turmeric. That's why the color is kind of yellowish. And the sauce is also so super sweet to me. For me, I prefer the savory taste of chicken satay, but this one on the sweeter side, I don't mind it. I still like it, but I still love the Indonesian version better. Not bad. Not bad from a Malaysian friend, but the sauce is amazing. Even though it's on the sweeter side, but it is that good. It's amazing. Uh, second thought on the satay. I agree with Peter, the sauce is amazing. Even though it's a little bit uh, sweet for me, but the more I eat it, the more I enjoy it. I love the salad sauce. And in addition to the chicken satay, I also ordered the otak otak. Uh, otak otak is basically fish cake wrapped in a banana leaf and they grill it. The same thing like the satay, grill on top of the uh, charcoal. So, uh... Okay, let's wrap, open up the wrap. Ooh, this one is different than Indonesian otak otak. Right, right, right. From the color, I can tell this is slightly different than Indonesian otak otak. I think they use turmeric just to give it like exciting color. Okay, first bite. Mmm, it's so soft. It definitely not like Indonesian otak otak at all, but I like it. It's a bit spicy, and it has a nice punch of the spices as well. Mm. Very interesting. I think I'm not used to eating otak otak like this. Indonesian and Malaysian dishes are similar but different. That's all that I can say. Similar but different. <laughs> Our dessert for tonight. This is my pick, actually. <laughs> this one is from the son-in-law, which is a, basically son-in-law is a cafe, uh, which is a modern Thai fusion cuisine. So yeah, I think the concept is a little bit silly to be honest. Just a, a steam bun dipped with the Thai tea, Thai tea sauce. 
Thai milk tea sauce. <laughs> but the unique thing about this is because they make this chip out of the cartoon characters, which, ah, uh, do you know this, this is the mel something melody, right? The, oh, no, I don't know. I don't know the name. The one that I, I wanted, actually Pokemon, but I didn't get the Pokemon. <laughs> If you know what these cartoon characters are, please let us know in the comment below. Mm. I like the sauce. You can test the Thai milk tea, definitely, yes. Dip it into a generous amount of the sauce. Mm. Very good. I'm glad that I trust the Thai milk tea sauce. This one is really good. They have the other option, which is Nutella, but Nutella is, yeah, you know, <laughs> you can get it from the supermarket, but for this one, mm, good decision. We haven't discussed about this channel yet. And this is from the Warung Indomie the place there where we get the Indomie before. And yeah, this is one of my favorite Indonesian dessert. You can see the coconut milk, a little bit of palm sugar, and also the chendol itself. And it has like a strong uh, pandan flavor, basically. I'm not gonna mix it first. Not bad at all, not bad at all. You can see from the colors, they have like a lot of coconut milk. It's not the ratio that I like it. I like it, I like more palm sugar instead of more coconut milk, but I don't mind it at all. And the green jelly tastes good. You can taste the pandan. Obviously, I think they use pandan flavoring, um, but they are not bad. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I just want to cool her. Okay guys, that's the end of our food tour at Hawker 88 Night Market. This is the opening night and I pretty much enjoy this night market compared, yes. to, compared to the winter um, night market because it's more, I would say it's less, less busy and it's easy to find like seeds and stuff and we like the food options because it's Asian food mostly yes. and it's yes. something that we are very familiar with. Yes. Agree. And introducing the third member of Three Hungry Diners, <laughs> this fair, cute fairy floss. Um, I'm not sure what kind of character is this is, but this is our big dessert for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> $12 fairy floss. If you guys know what kind of characters this is, let us know in the comment below. Anyway guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and also we post new video every sunday so don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you always get notified when we post a new video until then stay foolish stay hungry see you see ya